Hey everyone, my name is Grape Applesauce, and welcome back to another episode of the Cube SMP. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as we get started into this episode. We have a couple things to do today, some of them pertaining to this area around here, and some, of course, we need to go back to the vault. I know in the, uh, the last episode we did some work on the vault. I want to finish the vault commons or the vault atrium today. I think that is something that is really necessary to, you know, bringing the next step out of the vault getting more people moved in, getting all the valuables taken away from all these buildings around here. I think this is the first step in what we need to do uh, in uh, finishing this vault because I'm, t I'm, you know, I'm just about ready to move everything out of this area. I know we got the walls and everything, but I still want to have the vault finished just so I can move everything out of here and have it in a more secure place. So if you do enjoy today's episode, be sure to leave a like. It really does help out. You know what? I've been thinking about this arena as well. I really want to see if I could find one of the uh, the north or not north side, one of the south side guys to come and fight me at this arena. I know it's not like 100% done, but I feel like we could have a fight nonetheless. Maybe not in like this kind of gear, but like maybe just like normal iron armor, we could have a fight or just try and make a competitive little fight or something. Let me know if you want to see that stuff. If I should try and one v one some of the guys uh, in my episodes, I think that would be a fun little uh, clip to do in some episodes. And boom, we have made it over to the vault. What I wanted to do today is actually finish the atrium. Like I said, I've done some work off camera. I've been hard at work here working on this to kind of lay out the entire room just how I want it. So basically, I have the beacon in here, by the way. Basically, you will walk in and there will be a lower level down here and an upper level. Um, the upper level will have some, um, some ladders to get up to it, but... This will be the lower level. It's going to have, you know, just some vault commons, just some chairs and stuff. Just a hangout area. Over here, I have marked off the area for the vault restaurant just so we can have a place with even more food. So we're going to put that in there. As well as if you go up here, we're going to have the personal vault rooms in which people can store their personal assets. And, uh, you know, keep them safe from all the, uh, the other north siders and all that other stuff. Right here, we have the overseer's office. If you're familiar with the Fallout series, there is a, an overseer's office in these vaults. It's basically a big office that has like a glass thing that you can kind of oversee everything that's going on. And uh, I think it'll be a pretty cool room. I'm going to put uh, my office in here. You know what? Why not? I'll elect myself the overseer since I'm building most of this. But I think it's going to turn out very well. It shouldn't take too much time to complete uh, with the haste too if we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Um, let me get rid of this stone block there. Get our haste beacon back here. I think it was... One of these blocks. There we go. Got our haste back and we can finally get to work. But one thing I wanted to do before I get to work is actually name the security guard I left up here. I didn't name him in the last episode because I wasn't really back over here all too much. So we're going to go ahead and name him today. All right. This comment comes in from Loose Moose. He told me to name the Iron Golem. Paul Blart, and uh, you know, that's pretty funny. That comes from the movie Mall Cop, if you don't know. That was the mall, the mall Cop's name in the movie. Kind of funny, so we're going to go ahead and name it that. It had 67 thumbs up as well, so thank you for all of your palt. Palt? It's like a mix of the two. Paul Blart is palt. But I wanted to thank you for all of your suggestions. I do enjoy reading all of them, and you know, we got Paul Blart the Iron Golem now. Let's go ahead and name him. There you go, buddy. Keep us safe in here. Let's see if anyone else has used this, by the way. Okay, only just straw still, no big deal. We're going to get some people moved in, hopefully after this episode. So what I'm going to do now is do some more work on the atrium. I might put in the floors and walls here, and we will be right back. All right, we have gone ahead and added in the floor. I think it is looking nice, as well as finish the top railing area. I think this is looking great. So what we have to do now is, of course, add in the walls. I selected a stone brick pattern. Just because I think that would be the most simple to match the upstairs. So we're going to go ahead and place it all along the wall here. This haste 2 has made everything really easy to break. So this hasn't taken too long. A lot less than I thought it would. I don't know how that turned back into a stone block. I'm pretty sure I just placed a stone brick there. Might have been a glitch block that happens sometimes. But I'm going to go ahead and place all this wall. Another step complete in the vault atrium. We have got the walls in place. All we have left to do is the ceiling. I've kind of started the pattern over here. I wanted to do something where in the middle it kind of goes up a little bit more just to give it some more shape just so it's not like just flat walls and a flat roof like this. And I have finished the roof. It is looking, let's see. You know what? I really like the look of that, especially when you're down here. It really gives it some depth. Yeah, I think I like that a lot. I'm glad I added in some, uh, you know, some depth to this build or else it would have looked really flat and that's not what we want. 
So we got ourselves a roof here. We pretty much have everything done and now we just need to get started on working on, you know, the overseer's office and the individual rooms. So what I think I'll do is uh, just start on the overseer's office today. I won't get too much done. This won't be the only place. There's going to be extra areas as well. All right, now I have moved on to the overseer's office. I've been doing a lot of work. I actually had to end up moving the ladder that goes down to this area. It used to fall like right into the overseer's office. So I had to push it back a little bit so that it made some room and it wasn't uh, interfering with this office. But I think it looks really nice. We have the glass, of course, the glass window. It's looking really nice. You can see into the atrium just fine. I've gone ahead and made one of the personal rooms. This is just what the layout's going to look like. Anybody can move in and alter them how they like, but these are just the default rooms. Kind of spacey. You can add as much stuff as you want really in here. You can have a space for plenty of chess, brewing stands, enchantment tables, whatever you want to put in those rooms. You can go ahead and do that. And then in here, I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of my overseer's office. I just have to finish these walls on the side. I wanted to do kind of like a main desk right here. If I can kind of just lay this out for you guys. Kind of like this that would wrap around. I'll sit right here and just keep watch right here over my vault right here. I think that'll look pretty cool, but we got to get the proper supplies for that as well. I don't even think we have that. I think we need to get some wood stuff for that. Might have to go back to the surface and get some more stuff. All right, we have the necessary utensils to complete this. Well, there's a creeper out here. What do you think you're doing in my vault? Get out! So now we can go ahead and add in this desk. It shouldn't be too difficult to make. Let's go ahead and place everything down. I think I wanted it kind of like, you know what, we'll do with stairs as well. Have a stair on the end like that, and then we'll go all the way around. All right, I put in a desk here. I think this will be fine. Hopefully we could put some like buttons on top of this. Oh yeah, we could put some, we could put a button right there. I don't know what that button will be, but it will be an important button. Then we'll have to place some signs on the chair as well, so I can get some support for that. Let's go ahead and get some signs. We're also going to name the door above it. We're going to name it Overseer Grapey's Office. Overseer Grapey's Office. Let's head on in. Add the signs not on the chair, on the sides of the chair. There we go, like so and like so. We have ourselves a completed desk here. I don't know what else to really add in this room. I, was, I don't know, maybe some paintings or something? I don't know, it's, it's just kind of a simple room here. Nothing too special. I might actually uh, put in some chests in here. We might have a secret... Ooh, yeah, I just thought of something cool. We should put a secret entrance in this room to go to another room that has more stuff in it. Yeah, I don't think I could do any of that custom redstone stuff right now. It'd probably take me way too long, so we're just going to simplify this. We're gonna put the book here. This is the book that was in the security office about the residents. Of course, it would make more sense to go in here. And then we wanna place down some chests over here as well. Uh, wow, this is not even an even wall. Maybe we'll put them like this. Put them like so, all against the wall like that. Yeah, that should store my good stuff in there for now. And then one last thing I wanted to add over here. I had this banner and I'm like, you know what? This would look great if I just put it like somewhere like that. And then when you walk in, you'll see it like first thing when you walk in. Oh yeah, a south side better. Gotta love it. So I've been working on some aesthetics for the vault atrium. I've came up with a little design here. I made these little pillars here and put some benches here. I think it looks pretty cool. And then we want to do a tree here. I think that would be awesome to just have a nice little tree underground. So we're going to see if this will grow. I don't know if it will. Okay, it grew. It grew. And is it touching any of the sides? It is not. It grew absolutely perfect, just how I wanted it. I think that looks good. Let me know if you think I should leave this tree in here or not. I feel like it gives it a nice little different color and it makes it look nice as well. Maybe a different kind of tree though. I don't know. I just felt like it'd be nice to get some, some green down here instead of just only white and gray and brown. We need some color in here. All right, so I guess to kind of finalize this area, we got to take down the beacon and move it back to south side. I'm pretty much done with the beacon here anyway. I really only needed it for this big, huge room that I dug out right here. Other than that, I didn't really need this for the smaller room. So I'm going to go ahead and try and finish this room and see what you guys think. All right, the moment of truth. How will this second tree turn out? All right, so far so good. So far so good. It looks great. I don't know. These trees might be a little... Uh... I think they're, ooh, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if I like the trees. I'll, I'll leave them for now. I think they look good for now. I want to see what you guys think I should add to this place. We're obviously going to need a, uh, a stair set to get to the second floor here. I don't know where 
I'm gonna, I might just put it over here, actually. If I just put them um, on the sides of this, like, if I put extra ladders up the side, that might be just fine. Or I can make, like, a separate stairway room. I think it'll be easiest just to do ladders right here, though. All right, just like that, and we should be able to get ourselves all the way up here every time. We're gonna take away these corner ones, just so we don't have to worry about running or jumping over these. There we go. Got that. All right, I pretty much think the atrium is done. I just have to do these other rooms, but I'm not really too worried about that right now. We do have one extra room for Strawberry Jam. He is our official resident, so I made sure to make at least one room for him, and I have my office over here. I hope you all like this project. I really like how this came out. I will be back here in the next episode, probably working a lot more on it, or, you know, the upcoming episodes as well. Yo, what's going on, mini creeps? Yo, creepy. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to the what's arena. I brought you here in full iron. We are going to 1v1 today. Now, why I say we're going to 1v1 is because we haven't really done any practice on 1.9, and we haven't even used this arena yet, so I thought it would be a good idea for us to that do that today. True, that is true. So, you're thinking, since it's just a normal 1v1, do you want to you wanna wager something here? You want to put something on the line? Oh, yeah, dude. Something, of something? course. We can't have a good 1v1 without some money on yeah, the what line. Do you, what do you think? What are you thinking? I'm thinking some diamonds. How many yeah. diamonds are we talking about? I got about? five right here that are ready to wager, dude. I have two stacks, so. <laughs> well, I, I have 55, but I, I don't, I don't want to wager quite that much. Yeah, no, no, no. We'll do, we'll do five. Five. So winner good. takes ten. Yeah, winner takes ten. All right. We'll put this, I'll put it back in my inner chest. And actually. just for the record, my um sword only has mending on it. It's not sharpness or anything. It better. So it won't do any extra need. damage to you. All right, you ready, bro? All right, keep the diamonds on you, so. If one of us oh, die, you, you just pick them up. <laughs> just okay. pick them up. <laughs> All right, I guess it makes sense. Just pick them up. All right, here we go. All right, creeps. All right, start at the opposite corners. Here yep. we go. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Clean fight, gentlemen. Clean fight. Clean fight. Oh, I couldn't even see you pull that back there. Clean fight, gentlemen. Clean fight. All right. Oh, blocking the arrows. Isn't the whole point of this fight to stay on the arena? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me push into the <laughs> arena. Okay, good. there we go. Try harding a little bit, creeps. All right, eat a little bit. Gives you some regen. All right, screw this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the 1.9 PvP is so like calming. Come on, come on. Oh it's my like god. Gaffling. It's like gaffling. <laughs> oh my god, it is. Come on. No! No! <laughs> I missed two critical hits right that there. That was crucial. My diamonds, my friend. Thank uh, you for my diamonds. That was a good fight, though, nonetheless. That kind was fun. of a little bit fun. awkward, but I mean, you know, that's yeah, what that's, happens that's when you use iron point. armor. Yeah, and iron armor as well. All right, All right well, well, that was a good was fight. Fun. I'm sure we'll do more wagers in the future. That is the first of many. So I could not defeat the creeps in the 1.9 PvP arena. Unfortunately not. I don't know how because I defeated him in the 1.9 UHC I did recently. I was able to win that, but then I go back on the cube and yeah, just, I kind of suck off 1.9 right now. But that has been it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like. It really does help out. Any suggestions, I will be reading the comment section, so I do appreciate your suggestions and support. Other than that, I wanted to remind you all to stay positive. Keep a smile on your face. Just know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. We will see you all next time. Goodbye.